craziest experience you guys have had on tour past year or anything? Anything come to mind? There was this craziest, okay, this one time, okay, we got in the van. And then we sat in the van for eight hours. And then we got out and we had this donut, okay? So I ate the donut and we're like, let's get back in the van. And then we just laughed and laughed because that was insane. It, uh, nothing, nothing funny, nothing cool happens on tour. Like, it's, it's like, it, it's, the show is fun, but everything that happens on the show is really boring. Yeah. And nothing really, nothing really cool, except for like lame jokes we tell in the van, nothing happens ever. We pretty much just <laughs> get in the van, drive, yeah. like, get gas, food, yeah. get back in the van, and then we do, we get to the club, and we're, we just wait. Around. <laughs> uh, maybe shower, maybe not. Maybe, yeah, if we feel like it. Run over homeless people in Edmonton. Yeah, preferably. Yeah. But, uh, Stay in school, kids. Rock and roll is not fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's for suckers. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, a few crazy things happen here and there. Like, we got robbed in Spain by these fake cops. They but, took all our money. But, and, and that and hitting homeless person is our, our only two stories ever. Yeah, that's all we have. <laughs> I, I wish I had more to tell you, man. <laughs> If you listen to Sell Your Soul closely enough, you can hear a pull string Care Bear within some of the songs. Is that That's just true. a rumor? Or is that true. come about? That's true. Uh, we were in the studio and Hellcat had this Care Bear that if you pull the string really slowly, it sounds like some kind of crazy ghoulish creature. And uh, I don't know, we just put it up to the microphone and it sounded completely disturbing, so we decided yeah. to throw it in. At the end of Sell Your Soul, like the, that one song. So there's two questions we finish off with every band. Have you seen The Face of God, see a ghost, or an alien encounter? Oh, I saw what? Seen The Face of God, had a ghost experience, or had an alien encounter? Well, Sarah, I wish she was here, but she was, <laughs> she's sick right now. Uh, whenever she drinks whiskey, she has conversations with Jesus. That's true, that's true. Uh, and she... <laughs> Jesus tells her not to drink, and then she tells him that she doesn't believe in him, and then he goes away. <laughs> and, uh, this is very cool mind of her. And actually, ghost stories, I have never, ever had a ghostly encounter, but Sarah has them all the time. And it's but you, you had it in Switzerland, buddy. Yeah, but it's freaky as fuck, because we'll, we'll go into this like crazy old hotel, and she'll be like, this place is fucking haunted. Like right when we get there, and we're like, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And then like all this crazy shit will happen, like that I never really noticed before. Like in Europe, especially, we were hearing all these crazy noises. And this one, uh, we stayed upstairs at a venue. There was like I couldn't sleep. I was like, what the fuck's going on? And she was doing all this crazy shit in her sleep, like like making all these like scary noises, like. Aah! Yeah. And we're all like, what the fuck? I, I was just falling asleep, and then I was like. Okay, it's finally gonna happen. Then I heard, and I just shot up my bed like, oh god, I want to die. And then uh, we stayed in Switzerland at this hostel, and we got there, and she was like, this place is fucking haunted. And uh, she was sleeping where there was bunk beds, and she was sleeping on the one above me, and she was freaking out and saying like, there's all these like people telling her that she's not allowed to sleep there. And so she had to move because it was their bed. She moved. And I was like, whatever. And then I remember I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, there was fucking kids tickling my feet and laughing. And I thought I was mental. And then she was talking about the ghost later on in the next morning. And I was like, were they fucking kids? She was like, there was kids everywhere. And I was like, that is insane. Yeah, ghost kids. Ghost Terrifying. Kids tickling my feet. Terrifying. What surprised you most to learn about any band member, the band in general? Uh, Sean is straight. <laughs> Barely. 
does very yeah. Women. Yeah. Ginty snores like a motherfucker. Like a lawnmower. Like a lawnmower. Uh, Matt grinds his teeth to the point where it's like people scratching chalkboards. Yeah. And it's so loud and it freaks me out when I'm trying to sleep. Sarah can punch harder than I can. Yeah. That's a true story. We played a, a, a punching bag video game called Dragon Punch in Regina. She can punch harder than I can. And a machine verifies it. These guys, I don't know if they knew already, but I don't shower very often. So I usually smell horrid. He, he's sort of a, a bohemian that way. Yeah. I'll forget, I won't even realize it though. I'll be like, what day is it today? Where are we? Oh, we're in Vancouver. And I'll be like, I showered in Winnipeg. Which was six or seven days ago. I better shower today. He's not exactly. Or I'll be on my computer and I'll be like, What's that smell? Like, oh, it's my balls. I better take a shower. <laughs> Closing comments before we turn it off. Uh, <laughs> wash your balls daily. <laughs> wash your or at balls. least every other day. Yeah. For God's sakes. And uh, come check us out when we're in a town near you. Okay. And stay in school because rock and roll ain't fun. Yeah. You think it's fun? It's not. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. So baby blue don't cry Don't you go now